Okay, so in this video we're going to look at logarithmic law 1, or just log law 1. Uh, now log law 1 looks something like this. Log, uh, any old base, it doesn't matter what the base is, I'll just call it log base, uh, let's call it log base x. Log base x a plus log base x b. Now, notice that the, the bases are the same. Most of our log laws are only going to work if the bases, log base x, log base x, if the bases are the same. Now, log base x plus log base b, sorry, log base x a plus log base x b is equal to log base x a b. So log base x a times b. Uh, now we can use this in one direction or we can use it in the other direction. Uh, now a quick example of this might be something like uh, log uh, 5 plus log 7. Now you can see that I'm not writing any bases here. If you just write the word log and you don't put a base in, it's assumed that the base is 10. 10 is a really useful base when it comes to logs. So if no one writes a base in there at all, it just says the word log, that means log base 10. Okay, so I'm not going to put the 10s in there. Log base 10, 5, plus log base 10, 7, equals, according to our law, something with the same base plus... Another thing with the same base is equal to log base 10, not going to write the base 10 in, 5 times 7 equals log 35. Okay, so there's one example, or example 1. Uh, if you've got things with the same base and they're added together, we can do... 5 times 7 and combine them into a single log. What we've basically done is simplify that. Now, second example that you might get with something with this rule is to do those things in opposites. Uh, so to say log base 10, I'm not going to write in the base again. Log 2 plus, oops, sorry, let's try that again. Example 2, let's say log base 10, 6. If you wanted to expand that for some reason, log base 10, 6, you could rewrite it if you wanted to as log base 10, 3 plus log base 10, you don't need to put the 10s in there, log base, log base 10, 3 plus log base 10, 2. So in this first one, I simplified it by putting them together. In this second one, I expanded it by by drawing them apart. Uh, both of those techniques could be useful depending on the individual question you're doing. 